Just behind me right there, that is 9 residents, a mixed development sitting on top of Junction 9. Alright, from the... Pro, 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 pro. Alright. 146 commercial units. Ranging from your F&B establishment, your supermarkets, as well as your grocery stores. Three better unit at an attractive price point. If you're a young family or a young couple looking to purchase your first property, this is going to be interesting. So, Property Brothers is excited to show you this one. Let's go. Just before we kick start the home tour, I just want to share with you guys on why is it is so convenient to stay at 9 residence. We are just sitting on top of Junction 9 which makes this project a mixed development project. We are just located along the intersection between Yishun Avenue 9 and Yishun Ring Road. Along with North Point City, these two are mainly one of the most to go places in terms of your day to day amenities run because it's just so convenient. You can just head down to level 1 and that's where you can find most of the amenities, your eateries as well as your FMB establishment. The reason why it's so convenient is because this is definitely one of the to go places for the residents along this area. Because if we were to pull up the location on where we are located, we are situated in a very nicely densulated plot of land with lots of public as well as private housing and also with an abundance of schools. So within a kilometer radius, we have actually six primary schools. We have Kuman Primary, Zishan Primary, Chongfu Primary, North View Primary, Yishun Primary as well as Ahmad Ibrahim Primary School. And what we think is that the beauty of this is that there will always be constant demand for properties in the area is because that for primary schools, this is usually one of the key driving factors for parents that are especially looking to enroll their kids uh, in the immediate vicinity. And also, in addition to that, if you were to look at the ever-changing HDB landscape within the surrounding area, there are also many new upcoming HDB BTO classes. If you were to look at some of the price points that some of these HDBs have already been transacting or has already been going for, the five rooms are around the range of 500 to 800,000. And if you were to look at one of the DBSS clusters in the immediate vicinity, which is actually Adora Green, some of the five rooms there is already asking between uh, 880,000 to 980,000. And through all these different price point associations, there are definitely different kind of uh, buyer profiles that will be entering uh, into the HDBs here in this area. If we were to look again at the ever-changing property landscape in terms of the HDB segment, uh, as of last year, it was already announced that the price point has already increased by 12.5 percentage points, which is actually the highest it has ever been since 2010. And what we think is that some of the homeowners here will use some of this uh, cash sales receipts or some of the capital appreciation uh, from their HDB flats to actually upgrade into a property within the area, especially if their kids is already being enrolled in one of the primary or secondary schools in this area. So this pool of existing homeowners that is already staying here in this area can also be part of your potential buyer pool in the future. And can this can also form part of your exit strategy uh, moving forward if you were to come in as the new homeowner. This is a 3 beta standing at 926 square feet. So coming into the foyer entrance itself to the right, this is where your DB box as well as some storage space is being located. But alternatively, you can also convert this into your shoe cabinetry system by installing some shelving. Floorings are all still in well-maintained condition in this homogeneous tile. Moving on uh, from the foyer space, uh, the first thing that you'll be greeted by is actually the enclosable kitchen to the sliding door. Towards this portion, you more or less got a three-quarter kind of window panel going on right here. Counter top rate, I'll say it's pretty sufficient, so this is actually where you can do your meal prep. Cabinetries, actually they do have some display racks. This is actually where your washer is at. You've got some small storage spaces here. Towards the back, this is actually where three flame open the cooker is at. Inbuilt oven at the bottom. Then you've got some pull-out drawers here. If, let's say you are cooking up a storm. There's actually some ventilation windows over here, which is actually looking over the HDB car park. And they do have some nice landscaping going on on the rooftop itself. I would say that more or less the condition of the unit is still of a very well maintained condition. Uh, not much needs to be done in terms of overall after the completion of the sale because in terms of the age of the building, it's still relatively new. So looking at 9 residents, this project actually TOP in 2015 and actually comprising a total unit mix of 186. Level 1 to level 3, that is where your commercial nodes are at. So that is where Junction 9 is being located at. And for level 4 and above, this is actually where your residential component is being located as well as your facilities stack. 
Uh, the theme of the entire house is more or less in a minimalistic kind of theme, so actually not much inbuilt items are in here. In terms of the length of the wall, it's actually th about 3.6 meters by 3 meters. So in a sense, this enables you to kind of put in this very comfortable size 4-seater L-shaped sofa. Even towards this portion right here, this is actually a movable kind of uh, TV sideboard. The only couple of things that are inbuilt here is this wall-mounted TV and also a couple of nice touches here in this living room itself includes actually the down light, the ceiling fan as well as the cold lighting. Walls are still also in good condition, same like the flooring. Moving on to the balcony, this is actually a very decent sized balcony. So a couple of things that you can actually do here. Uh, if let's say you do want to have more of an alfresco kind of dining feeling, you can actually put in comfortably a four-seater dining set here in conjunction with your dining space inside as well. But this is where more or less the owners have utilized it to be their laundry area because directional facing in terms of the balcony space is actually towards the southwestern kind of direction. But I think in terms of that, this makes a very good kind of a laundry area. This is where the allocated dining space is at, but I think in conjunction, if let's say you don't want to have uh, alfresco kind of dining set outside in the balcony as well, that is also doable. Table-wise, this is actually of a six-seater dining table, but if you want to have a simple four-seater dining set, that is also doable. You just got to reorientate uh, the dining table to be in another format. Uh, let's pull out the side plan and chat a little bit about the unit mix as well as statistics about the project. So for the three bedders, the size actually varies between uh, 904 to 1001 square feet. There are actually a total of two blocks, block 12 and block 14. So in terms of the three bedder stacks, there are actually five different stacks available in this project. Uh, stack 2, 5, 8, 15 and 18. And looking holistically at all these kind of different stacks, all of them are actually external facing except stack 2 which is inward pool facing but this belongs to the slightly smaller and more compact layout standing at 904 square feet. In terms of the 3 bedders unit mix here at 9 residents, there are a total of 51 units available here or about 27%. Size ranges from 904 to 1001 square feet and if we were to pull out our floor plan, we are actually of a 3 bedder category Category, standing at 9 to 6 square feet, so you do get a very comfortable living, dining, kitchen space, 3 intact bedrooms, 2 bars, and 1 balcony space. The first common bedroom uh, current setup is of a super single kind of size. Window panel, 3 quarters, lets in quite a bit of uh, natural light as well. Overall, room space is actually of a very squarish kind of format. A couple of uh, inbuilt items here includes the ceiling fan, the wardrobe, as well as the air conditioning. Wardrobe space and over in this corner is of a sliding fashion. Diary opposite, that is where your common bathroom is being located. All the heaters in this house are actually powered by city gas. So you got your WC, your standing shower area with your shower screen already installed. Your vanity closet over in this corner, bottom storage Space. You still do get some storage space behind and a nice touch is you do get window panels here for some natural ventilation. Before we head on to the other parts of the house, let's talk a little bit about some of the financials or the numbers involved for this unit. And assuming that you are a family with household income of $10,000, the first thing is that you'll definitely be able to qualify for the maximum 75% uh, loan to value ratio. And in terms of down payment based on the full asking price of our unit at 1.1 million, the total down payment in terms of 25%, part cash, part CPF will be $275,000. There is also an additional 4% buy stamp duty which is mandatory for all residential properties above $1 million standing at 4% minus $15,400 which will equate to a sum of 28,600. Total down payment for this unit will be at 303,600, which can be used in mixture of cash and CPF. If we were to break this figure down one step further, looking at the monthly mortgage breakdown, so looking at the monthly mortgage based on the full asking price again, $1.1 million, with a 1.5% interest over a 30 years loan tenure, this will equate to 2847 per month. And what we think is that this is a really low barrier entry when it comes to a private property, especially in the three bedder categorization. Breaking down this monthly mortgage of 2847 one step further, it can be further broken down into 1860, which is the principal amount, and 1031, which is the interest. So the principal amount is something that you will still receive at, at the end of the day. 
while the interest is the amount that the bank earns. So looking at this very conservative monthly mortgage amount of 2847 and in comparison with a mortgage for a HDB loan in one of the 5 room HDBs here ranging between 500 and 800,000 let's say you're looking to purchase a new HDB cluster 5 room flat at 700,000 uh, with a HDB loan of a fixed parameter at 85% loan to value 2.6% interest over a 25 years loan tenure this will work up your monthly mortgage sum to 2699 and further breaking it down it's 1410 as the principal amount and 1289 as the interest amount so again looking at this comparison between both mortgages although you are paying slightly lesser in terms of your monthly outgoing or your monthly mortgage payment you are technically paying more in terms of your interest to the bank if you are considering HDB at about 700,000 using a HDB loan so using the same comparison again $700,000 quantum HDB with a bank loan instead so 75% loan to value 1.5% interest over a 25 years loan tenure so the monthly mortgage breakdown in this case will be 2099 per month and breaking it down it's 1443 as the principal and 656 as the interest so in this example the difference in terms of interest to the bank is at 375 per month $12.50 per day if you were to look at this in comparison to the monthly mortgage in terms of the interest for nine residents so in essence you are actually paying $12.50 extra per day which is the difference to own a pure private residential property uh, which has many various benefits such as not having to meet the five-year MOP period that HDB homeowners will have to fulfill. Heading on in, this is actually the master bedroom portions of the house itself. So similarly, floorings are clad in this vinyl overlay and this would look alike kind of thing. To the left, this is actually where the attached bathroom is being located. You've got your standing shower area, your WC, your vanity counter. Similarly, you still do get some uh, storage space behind the window itself as well a ventilation window. One thing that uh, is pretty neat uh, I want to point out is that you do get this little nook at the corner to place it in your toiletry. So instead of having to use those kind of uh, basket kind of system, I think overall this is more of a neat kind of setup as well. Master bedroom, quite generally sized, not much odd shape, still pretty regular in shape. Current setup is of a queen size bed. Wardrobe panel in this side, slightly larger than those in the common bedroom. Similarly, sliding in fashion as well. One thing to point out in this master bedroom is that it's pretty unique. You do get this L shaped window panel over in this corner which then allows more light to enter into the master bedroom itself as well. This is where the common bedroom is being located. It's exactly of the same size as compared to the first common bedroom, it's just of a mirror image. You got this super single bed, uh, you got a little side table at the corner as well. So you do get your in wardrobe, your ceiling fan as well as your AC unit. So that's it for the interior portions of the house itself. Uh, let's take a look at some of the price points as well as the price comparisons of some of the surrounding projects in the area. So we have three different categories of projects uh, ranging from pure residential. So these types of projects are without any commercial note. Mixed development such as nine residents which has some form of commercial note at the lower levels. Lastly, the integrated development which similarly has some form of commercial note and is directly linked to a MRT. And looking at some of the similar comparisons in terms of mixed development and integrated developments within the vicinity, we have North Park residents. This is an integrated development which directly links to North Point Mall and Yishun MRT. TOP20199 leasehold in nature. The asking price range of a 3 bidder is between 1.33 to 1.79 million. So looking at a similar comparison we have with Seria. So this is mixed development, TOP20189 leasehold in nature as well. The asking prices of a 3 bidder there is between 1.1 million and 1.35. And if we were to expand our scope wider and move northwards towards the new township of Canberra, looking at some of the projects built within a similar period, we have one Canberra so this is an EC project, TOP2015. So just obtained its MOP status in 2020. 99 leasehold in nature. Asking prices of a 3 bidder there is between 988,000 to 1.29. We have 8 courtyard TOP2014. Similarly, leasehold project. Asking price between 1 million to 1.36. The nautical TOP2015. 99 leasehold. Asking price between 1 million to 1.56. Canberra residence TOP2013. 99 leasehold. Asking price between 1.31 to 1.6 million. Coming back to our unit and 9 residence, we are closing located to Yishun MRT, one stop closer to the core central region of Singapore. Asking price of this unit is at 1.1 or 1187 per square feet. Relatively safe barrier entry and if you are a young family or young couple looking to keep your overall quantum under the 1.2 million region. So I think that this unit is something that will interest you considering that you get loads of amenities as well as conveniences located just directly out your doorstep.
So for amenities, as mentioned earlier, we have six primary schools within a kilometer radius. And for nearby secondary schools, we have Yishun Town Secondary, Northland Secondary, Ahmad Ibrahim Secondary, Northbrook Secondary, as well as Yishun Secondary. So for facilities, we have a 50 meter lab pool, aquatic gym, barbecue pavilions, function room, onsen and steam room. We will be glad to know that we are closely located to Yishun Nature Park, Yishun Neighborhood Park, Yishun Park, and Katik Bongsu Park Connector. So if you are on a hunt for a tree bidder in the low 1 million quantum region in an area that already has an existing pool of upgraders with convenience as well amenities located at your doorstep, then do contact our listing managers, their numbers are down below. In the meantime, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram as well as TikTok to help us and like and subscribe on all our social media platforms. Uh, in the meantime, my name is Brian, Property and Brothers, always happy to show you the place. So just behind me right there. Okay. They got people looking uh, like what the freak. Okay, okay, let's go. So if you are so if you are so if you are looking So if you're on a hunt for a tree weather in the low one million quantum region, uh, can uh change chain <laughs>